Hey you, yeah you, stop that frowning. Hey there champ, having a bit of a rough go? Feeling like a left sock in a world of right feet? We've all been there. It's like finding out your favorite cereal has discontinued your favorite prize inside. Devastating, but listen, because this is important. You can't let a little thing like existential dread keep you down. We've got a world to save, a planet to ridicule, and frankly, my cat needs someone to film him batting at dust motes. So put down the pint of ice cream, step away from the sad movie marathon, and let's turn that frown upside down. Think of it as a public service announcement for your own well-being, and frankly, my well-being, because sad people make me nervous. Speaking of which, have you met my cat? His name is Mr. Snuffles, and he's got some strong opinions about feather toys. You matter? Yes, even you in the back. Now I know what you're thinking Vic, you don't know me, I'm just one person in a sea of billions, and to that I say you're right, you are one person. Congratulations on understanding basic math. But here's the thing, you magnificent snowflake, you, you are unique. You bring something special to the table, even if that something is just an uncanny ability to choose the slowest line at the grocery store. Think of it like this, the world is a giant chaotic jigsaw puzzle. And guess what, you're a crucial piece, without you the whole picture is incomplete. It's like trying to watch the Great British Bake Off and skipping the technical challenge. Utterly pointless. So chin up, you have a purpose. You are important, you are... Wait, hold on, Mr. Snuffles is demanding belly rubs, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, where were we? Ah yes love, because let's face it, sometimes feeling lonely is just a fancy way of saying I need a hug. And you know what, that's perfectly okay. We all need a hug sometimes. Except for Mr. Snuffles, he's more of a stare intensely from a distance kind of cat. But that's the beauty of humanity. We're social creatures, hardwired to connect with each other. Look around you, friends, family, that barista who knows your complicated coffee order by heart. They're all part of your support system, even if you don't realize it. And if you're thinking, Vic, you're being ridiculous, I don't have that. Well, first of all, rude. And second, it's 2024. We have the internet. There are entire communities of people out there who share your love of obscure 80s cartoons, competitive ferret grooming, or whatever else floats your proverbial boat. Section 4. Escape Hatch. This way out of your funk. Now, I'm not saying it's always easy. Life has a nasty habit of throwing curveballs when you least expect it. It's like trying to assemble IKEA furniture after a long day and realizing you're missing a crucial screw. And the instructions are in Swedish, and you don't speak Swedish, but here's the good news, there's always a way out. It might be therapy, meditation, or just calling up a friend and having a good old-fashioned vent session. Whatever works for you, my friend, except for interpretive dance, that's just weird. Remember, you're not alone, we're all in this together, even if this is a giant cosmic joke with no punchline. But hey, at least we have each other. And snacks. Snacks are good. Snacks. Section 5, Laughter, the best Prozac. Don't quote me on that. Speaking of good things, let's talk about laughter. They say it's the best medicine, although I wouldn't recommend swapping out your actual medication without consulting a doctor. Unless your doctor is Dr. Nick Riviera, then by all means disregard everything they say. But I digress, laughter is important. It releases endorphins, boosts your immune system, and makes you temporarily forget about the impending doom scrolling through your newsfeed. Plus, it's contagious, spread the joy, or at least a mild chuckle. Watch a funny movie, listen to a comedy podcast, or just reminisce about that time your uncle tried to make a TikTok and accidentally glued his toupee to the ceiling fan. The point is, find something that makes you laugh, even if it's just the absurdity of existence itself. Section 6. Okay, one last joke before you go. Why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. I'll be here all week. Try the veal. And remember, you are loved, you are important, and you are capable of amazing things. Now go forth and conquer, you magnificent beast. P.S. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends. Mr. Snuffles is saving up for a diamond-encrusted scratching post.